stop playing with them. There is actually a valid reason why I am a la Wednesday Adams and that's because I'm doing my first ever DVD unhaul today and if you've never seen an unhaul video it's basically where you do the reverse of all. I show you the DVDs that I have watched, do many reviews on the films and then I will be giving them either to charity shops or to friends or things like that. So we'll get the obvious one out of the way first of all. This is Adam's Family Values. I loved the first film. I thought the sequel, the second one's not going to live up to it. It's not going to be as good. Wow. I thought it was a million times better than the first one which is definitely saying something and I think Christina Ricci definitely carried the film. There's just something about young Ritchie and how talented she is and she's just absolutely fantastic. And I love her and I love Wednesday Addams and you have to see this film. On the complete opposite end of the enjoyment scale is Human Centipede 3. I am so disappointed. Loved the first two. I thought the third one's gonna really step up the gore. It's gonna be horrible and terrific and beautiful. I don't like saying this about art ever, but this genuinely felt pointless. And as I said, I loved the first two, so it's not as if I don't like the concept of human centipedes. Not that I like the concept of human centipedes. But it's basically just two hours of shouting and swearing. There are a couple of kind of graphic scenes that make my, may, made my stomach lurch. But, but for the most part, there's just... It's, it's fruitless, completely fruitless, so disappointing. Not scary or horrifying, it didn't make me think. I just thought this is really out there to shock rather than entertain. However... Reality Bites was wonderful. I have to say that the story itself was pretty average. It's a kind of traditional love story who's gonna get the girl because does the girl even want any of the guys? But the cast really carried this forward and I really like this. I'm a huge fan of Winona Ryder so that for me was definitely the pull factor there. But having Ben Stiller and Ethan Hawke there were great. I love both of them and I've never seen that I can remember Ben Stiller in this kind of film. He's usually in a lot more in your face comedies. I mean this is quite funny but I, it's not like most of other Ben Stiller's works that I've seen where you're laughing from start to finish. So I was really pleased with this and I definitely recommend it. Coupling two previously mentioned actresses, we have Mermaids. Obviously we have Cher on the front here and then we have very young Winona Ryder and Christina Ricci. This is lovely. Winona Ryder's actually our narrator in this. I didn't think that was going to be the case. And she's a young girl, she is a virgin, she's quite religious, but she's starting to have these sexual thoughts and she doesn't know what to do with those. And then she has this young sister who loves swimming, her mother's a bit promiscuous, they're always running away from their problems. It's kind of chaotic, this this girl Winona Ryder plays is basically trapped in the life of a teenager, that's a bit chaotic and it's really sweet and really lovely and obviously if you're a Ryder fan you have to see it, but in general I thought it was really good. Then we have the one and only Jolie DVD in this lot, so I'm wearing my t-shirt in honour of that. We have this film, the title of which I still can't pronounce even though a lot of you actually taught me how to pronounce it. This film is weird. And there are a lot of really interesting camera angles of Angelina Jolie, very interesting. But it's kind of a weird film in the sense that I'm thinking what is this even about, what is the point in this, but not in a way like The Human Centipede 3 where it just felt completely irrelevant. This is just a bit where are we even going with this story? And there isn't really a story to it. And it's just all a big muddle of this guy gets in a relationship with this younger girl, but it's not a real relationship and her mother's involved and, and she's going to get engaged to this young guy. And I'm really describing it poorly, but that's because it's just such a big jumbled plot in my head, but it works. And last of all, Jurassic Park, finally watched it, loved it. So I really want to revisit a, Jura a real Jurassic Park. I'm not sure if that's a good thought or not, but I loved it so much so I'm going to go and watch the next one at some point and then make my way up to Jurassic World. Of course these aren't all the DVDs that I've watched recently but these are the ones that I thought were pretty noteworthy and worth mentioning, all really enjoyable apart from one which I was just so let down, I had such high hopes for it. So I think I'm going to have to go back and watch the first two at some point just to cleanse myself of that disappointment. If you see any of these films, let me know what you think of them and any suggestions for other films. Of course, I will always accept them and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.